praise the name of the Lord. We thank God for uh, where he has taken us from. We thank God for, for this is how far the Lord has seen us through. This is uh, Encounter 215. If you can hear me loud and clear, please let me know. Uh, encounter 215. We bless the name of the Lord. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, King of Glory, we thank you. We we'll give you glory. We thank you for another session of the Encounter Series 218. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord because you have given us every reason to glorify you. You have given us every reason to magnify you. You have given us every reason to reference you. Thank God because you have um, given us the enablement to uh, be a partaker for with another program to gather in your presence. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. King of glory, as we proceed, O oh Lord, proceed with us in the name of Jesus. Guide us in the name of Jesus. Be with us in the name of Jesus. So at the end of this program, we'll have every reason to glorify you. As many that you have ordained to be a partaker, O oh Lord, fasten the footsteps in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, I will commit every vessel you will use to, to tonight, especially the man of God, Pastor Edwin Adebayo, we commit him into your cares. O oh Lord, we use him as a point of reference for everyone you will use on this platform. That, O oh Lord, you will strengthen them. You will endow them, embed, embed them with your wisdom, your power, your strength. Father, Lord, they will never run dry of your wisdom in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray, O oh Lord, that every vessel you will use on this platform, there shall be, there shall be a, your power that will give, that will manifest a testimony into your, unto your people in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you glory. We magnify you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Um, I greet you once again. Uh, this is today is the um, today is the twelfth of June. The twelfth of June. Uh, in some country, especially Nigeria, they are celebrating democracy, government of the people, for the people, by the people. Um, the voice of people is the voice of God. Um, and uh, in some other countries today are celebrating one thing or the other. A peculiar day like this, uh, we have gathered into the presence of God to uh, meet with the Lord and to uh, learn at his feet. Father, we thank you. We bless you for that opportunity you have given unto us. Um, we cannot but uh, rejoice in your glory. We do not take it for, time, for granted because this is the Lord's doing. Last week, we said bye-bye, and we will see you again on Wednesday, and here we are. Um, without taking much of our time, uh, 11 minutes straight already, so um, we will be taking our in, um, sent by Pastor Edwin. We will be taking our in, then um, Pastor Edwin can take over from there. Uh, the hymn says, Oh, what a wonderful day, a day like this. Oh, what a wonderful day, a day like this. So, um, let's just, uh, if you don't know the, if you know the hymn, just go along. And uh, if you don't, just um, also go along so that you can feel the impact, the words. You say, Oh, what a wonderful day. Day I would never forget. After I would wander in darkness away, uh, Jesus, my Savior, I met. Oh, what a tender, compassionate friend. He met the need of my heart. Shadows dispelling with joy, I am telling. He made all the darkness depart. You see, it's a prophecy, and I, believe, I, I pray that it will manifest in your life today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you can hear me loud and clear, please let me know. Because I'm not sure if I can hear myself. If I can hear my if if someone is hearing me.
all right so let's take the aim for today um says born of the spirit with life from above into God's family divine justified fully through Calvary's love oh what a standing is mine and the transaction so quickly was made when as a sinner I came took off the offer of grace he did profile he saved me oh praise his dear name Hallelujah. Um, so without taking much of our time, um, so that I can give um, Pastor Edwin enough time to uh, to take to I mean to minister. Um, I will. Sorry if you are watching on Facebook and Instagram, please, uh, as usual, don't uh, don't forget to DM so we can. If you are watching for the first time on Instagram facebook or youtube please don't forget to dm so we can do the needful we like appreciating newcomers uh if you're watching us for the first time please dm so that we can uh, do the needful we give gifts to newcomers uh on this platform 
So if you are one of those that are watching us for the first time, please make sure you DM so I know. Uh, God bless you really good. So at this point in time, I will call on uh, uh, Pastor Edwin. Uh, this program is Praying Prevailing Prayers. Praying Prevailing Prayers every second Wednesday of the month. We have never missed this. And to, to the glory of God, Pastor Edwin Adebayo has never missed this session. And um, even when he's not around, he's still present in this program. And we thank God for uh, the gift of life for that God has placed in his life, the gift and the wisdom that the Lord have, have placed in his life. And uh, we thank God for the glory of God in his life. Uh, God bless you, sir. So at this point in time, I will introduce um, the man of God, Pastor Edwin Adebayo from the RCCG Agape family uh, uh, and the uh, grace of uh, the throne of grace and mercy, uh, RCCG in Waterford Island. Uh, God bless you, sir. And I hope that one day, um, uh, Pastor Mrs. Two will have opportunity to <laughs> to minister uh, on this platform um, to the glory of God. God bless you, sir. We cannot hear you. Ah, we can hear you now. No, we can't still hear you, but it shows that your oh. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear now. Loud and clear. I think I would do away with the headphone because the headphone is for the pilots. So we that are being instructed as the co-pilot of the Almighty. Uh, sometimes if we just need to get the headphone away, maybe we do the naturalizimus of God and uh, we'll be heard. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. May God bless you all in this beautiful season. We have had a wonderful, wonderful, what a wonderful day of God. Let us pray. Our Father, our Father who art in heaven, Amen. Hallow be thy name. 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 Our Father in heaven, we glorify your holy name. We bow down before you, our Father in heaven. We glorify your holy name. We bow down before you. Heavenly Lord, your name is wonderful. Your name is excellent. Your name is beautiful. I worship you, Lord God, for you are mighty. You got a whole world in your hands. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Lord, your name is wonderful. Your name is excellent. You are beautiful, God. We worship you, Lord, for you are mighty. You got a whole world in your hands. Hallelujah. You got a whole world in your hands. You got a whole wide world in your hands. You got a whole wide world in your hands. You got a whole world in your hands. Our Father, our Lord, our God, we come to adore your holy name. The immortal, the invisible, the only one God that creates heaven and earth, in who have no variation of turning, the God of all miracles, the God of all wonders, the God that signs follow the wonder it performs in the man in the life of humanity. The God that cannot be changed, the God that himself changeth not. 
the almighty God of the universe, the God that created us in his image, the healer, the joy provider, the one that turns things around for good, the ones that make a way where there seems to be no way, the one in whose hands, oh God, there is a touch that are divine, the one that sent em emissaries and messengers and people, oh God, and heaven, so oh God, to visit mankind, the one that visit in his own power, the one that visit with his voice, the one that visit with his majesty, the one that visits with all his attributes, the one that heal and make whole, the one that has provide in all circumstances and situations, the maker, way maker, Heavenly Father, we want to thank you. Particularly for you send your only begotten son, Christ, Jesus, to come and save us and redeem us. And above all, you send the Holy Spirit, and Lord, we want to say, please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. We want to thank you for this encounter series, series of 218. We want to thank you for the host. We want to thank you for the day of initiations. Daddy, Lord God, please accept that thanks in Jesus' name. I come before you, oh my Father, my God. I lay myself at the altar. I put myself before you, Lord. Please encounter me. Please let the power of your hand rest upon me. Father, I commit everyone all, all over the world that are listening to you or will listen to you afterwards on this program tonight. And I pray, Lord, let your hands, oh God, lift them up, oh God. Let them be upon your hands, oh God, that you be a blessing always as you are to them. Let your hands be upon their hands. Let your divine visitation come upon them. And above all, and ab at the end of everything, let your name alone be glorified as we are blessed. And Lord, if you delay your coming, everyone will meet and see you in glory. No matter what the situation or the announcement or the information of the earth is saying, let all glory please return to you, Father. So we declare in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In Christ Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. I have a good news for everyone. And by the grace of God, it's a special month. Like we have heard from the mouth of the host, the, we will see, like we know, we are praying prevailing prayers. And everything we do is according to the word of the scriptures. I know today is so special. And because it's so special, and we, in, in the specialty of today, we want to talk about the month. We will discover that this month is the month sixth. That means the sixth month of the year. We will discover that it's not only because it's the sixth month of the year, it's the twelfth day of the month. Like we have heard, it's so special because in my country, in Nigeria, for example, African biggest nation, we are celebrating the Democratic Day today. And again, 12 will stand for so many things. And as God will have it, today is my mother's own personal birthday, my, my own mother. Today is a birthday of a good blessed memory. And uh, I remember what the Lord did this same time, this same date last year for me. And I give God all the glory. So therefore, that is what we call the 12 tribes of Israel. It's 12, the number 12. That's what we call the 12 baskets of blessings. If you study the book in the book of John chapter 6, you see the story there where God, uh, Jesus came and he ministered and he felt in him that people are hungry and he wanted the food and they say, oh, they cannot get the food. The, the disciples said they cannot get the food. But there was a preparation ahead of time of a young little boy like you and I that gave his meal that day. And the Bible records in that same John chapter 6, he said the boy went home with remnants such that baskets were filled after feeding over 5,000. And they said even children were not counted. And he said 12 baskets were filled. Therefore, I am very blessed. I am representing the Almighty God in the name of Jesus to tell you today that every 12 months, that means calendar month of the year, being the sixth month, this day, every single one of us will have a blessing beyond man's comprehension in Jesus' name. We have divine surplus that will take us that we will never lack again. Either would we beg bread from our enemies in the name of Jesus. And I look at 12 again, I discover that 
12 stands for the 12th hour of a day. In every day, you have the day and the night. That's why the Bible will tell you in Matthew chapter 4. It said, and Jesus Christ went up into the wilderness to fast for how long? For 40 days and 40 nights. So Bible was very clear. So that means 12 hour runs in the day, 12 hours run in the night. Therefore, I decree that that 12 hours of the day, that 12 hours of the night, I prophesy into your destiny, to our destiny, as the Lord God is preparing his return, never will any one of us be reproached again in the name of Jesus. Such that tonight, as we are praying tonight, prevailing prayer, you will discover by the grace of God, the hour and season of your blessings as it is now in the name of Jesus. And the name of God will be blessed forever in Jesus' name. Remember that every day of the month, every day, every second counts. And therefore, the Lord God will open your heart. The Lord God will open your spiritual co co cognitiveness to identify and see where the predicament comes, where the foundation was bad, where the foundation got faulty, where your mistakes are, and you'll be able to get out of it in the name of Jesus. The first thing I therefore want you to do after listening to what I've said is to ask you to open your mouth. I call it a man opening his own spiritual valve. You open your mouth to thank God and say, Father, I thank you for keeping me alive to witness today the 12th day of the month of June, the sixth month. And therefore, oh God, for the rest of the days of my life, for everything you have sent your son to remind us. Remember, there were 12 disciples that Jesus picked and he followed Jesus to the end, except for the one that you know what happened after Jesus was gone. You know what happened to him. That is not our own portion in Jesus' name. But this means that every enemy that is going to stand against your destiny being repushing, against your destiny being healed, against your destiny having breakthrough, against your destiny of spiritual, you know, you know, visitation, then that enemy will not live again to, to see the day. So shall it be in Jesus' name. I want you to thank God for your life. Thank God for your family. Thank God for your, for, for, for your future. Thank God for everything God has done for you. Because none of us here right now has been born just now in the second. But one thing I know the second is batting to us is a spiritual divination of visitation. Is is divinity of purpose by the hands of God lifting you above all other odds in life. So I thank you, my Father, my God. I thank you for everyone in this platform. I thank you for everyone listening in all social media platform. Right now, as we go, Lord, we want to open up to you our heart, our mind, our spiritual verb. We want to open up to you that thing that we cannot tell any man or woman. We want to open up to you because your word says we must call unto you. He said, whenever we call you, at any time, see, you will hear us. And you even promise us, you show, you show us great and mighty things. Father, tonight, this is the same thing we have asked. This expectation of we, your children, we know, Lord, they shall never be cut short. Thank you because we have worked with you. Thank you because we have had our worship. Thank you because in this welfare, Lord God, you will not return back on Lord God without you answering them. Thank you for your mercy that is prevailing over every judgment in of our destiny. Thank you because as we walk with you with this prayer line, with our expectation, Lord, Lord, I know. We have waited on you. The waiting of no man shall be cut short to God. Thank you for blessing all, 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 all the time. Thank you for blessing the second and the hour. God, hear us. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. We know our time and our line on this series. We need to pray with scriptures. As we pray with scriptures and we open that spiritual verb on that scripture, we will pray one according to that scripture. We will pray two with understanding, asking for big, big things. We will pray three with understanding in the spiritual of the realm, asking for things money cannot buy. Now let's go to scriptures. Today, we are going to read two, three scriptures in the go, and we're going to use it to provoke and invoke the glory of God in heaven.
to come to aid us, to come to perform all that he has mentioned in his word. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Tonight, what is the team we are looking at? We are looking at a team that is called the hand of God, the, the, the divine hand of God and visitation. We are looking at the divine hand of God and the visitation. So let's look, for example, the month six, if the Bible says it. Once the Bible says it, we will we combine it in our prayer. We will ask God for that thing that he said concerning that time. And it shall come to pass that the host of heaven will hear us. And that inspiration of the Lord that is setting you free, totally free, according to the word of God in John chapter 8, verse 32 down and 36. He said, therefore, whenever the hand of God come upon a man, whenever there is division, you will hear the Lord speak. He says, to whom the Son of God shall set free, he is free indeed. Verse 32 and 36. So therefore, you and I were set free from today in the name of Jesus. From any form of bondage, we are set free in the name of Jesus. Let's look at the book of Ezekiel chapter 8. Ezekiel chapter 8. We're going to read verses 1 and 2. Then we'll go to read the book of Luke chapter 1. We will read certain verses there from 23, okay. perhaps. We're going to read verse Is that someone reading there? Ezekiel chapter 8, verses 1 and 2. The Bible says, and it came to pass in the sixth year, in the sixth, in the fifth day of the month, as I sat in my house, and the elders of Judah sat before me, that the hand of the Lord God fell there upon me. The hand of God will fall upon you in the name of Jesus. Then I beheld and lo a likeness as the appearance of fire, from the appearance of his loins even downward fire and from his nerves even upward as the appearance of brightness as the color of amber. When I was studying this, when I was preparing myself for this meeting, it says somebody's hands of God in the place of spiritual is lifting him and her up. That the power of the Holy Ghost that comes in that place will make manifest your foundation. You can remember the story of Jabez in the book of Chronicle 4. You know what happened in 10. Jabez cried unto the Lord because he needed the hands of God. He needed the things of spiritual. And he said, God, my name must be changed. Today, the hands of God will inspire you that the name of God alone will be mentioned in your destiny in the power of the Holy Ghost. Physically, the hands of God will lift you. Then we will see that, how the hand of God is going to lift you. I always tell people, when you pray with the scripture, when you understand the scripture, you keep praying God. Ezekiel 8, 1 to 2. You will go to reveal how he decode the scripture to you such that you can pray prayer money cannot buy. I pray tonight is a night that the glory of God will take us to stardom above all in the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Brethren, let's look at another Bible passage that we're going to read and we're going to combine it like I said to us that we're going to pray because the Bible records, it said the effectual perfect prayers of the righteous in the book of chapter, uh, James chapter 5. James chapter 5. The scripture says, it said the effectual perfect prayer of the righteous ability man. Before that time, he said, is there anyone sick among you? He said, let him call to the elders that they may anoint them. Brethren, can I tell you what, what I know today? There is nobody that is not sick somewhere somehow in life today some people are sick spiritually some people are sick physically some people are sick in their emotions some people are sick financially some people are sick in their homes in their marriage some people are sick in their career some people are sick by their characteristics and their behavior some people are sick by attitude 
Some, even, their sickness is not of them. You know what happened? They were bestowed on them by their genealogy and their foundation and their, their, their origin. But tonight, I have a good news for you. There will be a divine visitation of the hands of Almighty God that I stand my faith to join with every generous of God in spirit and in truth, that that hand will lift you above all this shame and reproach as we see today in the name of Jesus. Brethren, prepare yourself to open up your spiritual back to pray prayer like never before. Because I already perceive and know that even your prayer, your heart is already praying to God. Remember the woman with the issue of blood in Mark chapter 5, verse 25. Mark chapter 5, verse 25. It was a thought, a cognitive thought that said only if, and that came to pass because God made her to mesmerize the move and she managed to touch in the finishing line. I pray today, ah, that spiritual finishing line with which this second will not pass before the Lord answer you, that this night will not pass before the glory of God pull you from your rotting foundation, before the hands of God pull you from that predicament you thought cannot be taken away, so shall it be that God will answer you in the name of Jesus. Let's look at the book of Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1. We're going to use it to pray again. Luke chapter 1, if you look at the, the, the Bible from verses 20, let's say 20. And behold, thou shalt be dumb and not able to and not able to speak until the day that these things shall be performed, because thou believest not thy words, which shall be fulfilled in their season. In their season. Brethren, there is season to everything and to every humanity. One prayer I want you to pray today is according to this passage, Luke chapter 1, verse 20, we have read. You are going to join it to Ezekiel, Ezekiel 3.26. Ezekiel 3.26, and we are going to join it with Genesis 8.22. He said, there is time and season for everything. You are going to cry because he said the time and season for everything means the winter, the autumn, the summer, and the spring will never go. You are going to cry to the Lord and say, Lord God of hosts, my time of divine visitation has come. Let this season be a season that you will pull me out and set me free. Now, as you are praying, you are going to pray not alone for yourself. You are going to pray to your foundation and say, Father, this is the season. According to the word of God in Psalm 102, verse 13, he said, yeah, the season has come. He said, yeah, the set time has come. He said, yeah, the time to favor you has come. Yeah, this is the time. You are going to cry and say, Father, in this season of the long days, oh God, of this season of summer, Father, this is the time that you are pulling me out totally, that you are pulling me out for freedom, that you are setting me free indeed. Father, I must be free. My home must be free. My wife must be free. My husband must be free. My children must be free from any form of predicament because it's the time and hour of your divine visitation. Father, I receive your divine visitation. Father, I receive your hands of glory, O God. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Look at what happened. And I will show you another thing of the scripture. And we are going to pray it. Because God started this move with us last month in the month of grace for grace and favor. And he showed us many things. And since then, I know I perceive a lot of people has gained a miracle before the Lord. And we cannot hide it again. Look at what the Bible says in verse 21 down. And the people waited for Zacharias and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. And when he came out, he could not speak unto them. And they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned unto them and remained speechless. You know what you are going to pray? You are going to have divine encounter, but some people will become a spiritual spectator. They will be watching why the glow of God will be glowing in your life. Remember where you read in the book of Ezekiel 8, 1 to 2. He said, and the power of the hand of the Lord, because you know, 
what happened in those days was that the people were worshiping in idolatry and God came to condemn idolatry and he showed Ezekiel that vision and he said because you have done this my hands came upon them you know what he said it was a time they became like an amber light I check what is amber. In fact, I asked my children, I said, what would you think an amber is? Oh, they say a certain light. They are very beautiful. And I remember the traffic light. The traffic light will give you a ray. It may be a stop and say, God wants you to stop for a reason. Then the amber will flash, will flash, will flash. And the goal of the green will come. We are going to tell the Lord and say, Father, Everywhere, anywhere, my life has stopped when I was supposed and I am supposed to be moving on. Father, tonight, I pray, oh God, like the scripture says that the light of fire appearing is like that of amber. Father, let your amber put me to begin to accelerate in the name of Jesus. My family will accelerate to your glory in the name of Jesus. My wife will accelerate in the power of the Holy Ghost. My career will not be stagnant anymore. My career will accelerate in those stardom in the name of Jesus. That every amber you are showing in my life, the fire of the Holy Ghost will purify me. The fire of the Holy Ghost will make known unto me the glory of God manifesting. I will go upward, I will go down, into the deeper root of the things of God. I will spread out in the name of Jesus from every cardinal point of the cardinal point of the earth. Father, in the east, as the sun is coming out, Father, my life and my destiny will arise and shine. Father, before the sun set, my glory will never set, O oh God. Father, from the south, Father, I will meet with great pursuit of excellence, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. For my city, it shall be well with them. For my nation, Nigeria, even as they celebrate 12th of June of uh, democracy today, Lord, your glory will come back in that nation, in the name of Jesus. In the nation where I am, in the United Kingdom, in Ireland, in the island of Ireland, in the rest of the world, and the land of Jerusalem, Israel. Father, they will find peace in the name of Jesus. Every nation that call you will find peace in the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. So shall it be, in Jesus' name we pray. Listen to what the scripture says, brethren, in Luke chapter 1, verse 23 down. And it came to pass that as soon as the days of this manifestation were accomplished, he departed to his own house. I will quickly read two, three other portions for us to pray very well. Verse 24 to 28 says, And after those days his wife Elizabeth conceived, and hid herself three, five months, saying, Thus has the Lord dealt with me in the days wherein he looked on me, to take away my reproach among men. And in six months, Listen to this in verse 26, Luke chapter 1, verse 26. And we are in the sixth month. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin exposed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. Listen to what the Bible says. And the angel came unto her and said, Hail thou that are highly favored, the Lord with thee, blessed are thou among women. Before the Lord Almighty visited Mary, he had sent the host of heaven by a captain called Gabriel to visit Elizabeth. There were forerunners of the things to come in divine visitation. You will tell God tonight and say, Father, with your glory and the power of your hand that liberate and set free, send ahead the host of heaven to set the, the way straight for me that as your divine visitation come, oh God, I am favored. My wife is favored. My family is favored. My woman is favored. My brain is favored. My senses are favored in the name of Jesus. My career is favored. My marriage is favored. My finance is favored. 
Father, be it that I'm in a crossroad. Your hands has lifted me today. Daddy, Lord, your divine visitations have come. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I have been visited, oh God, divinely, spiritually, physically. Glory be to your holy name, oh God. Thank you because my emotion become balanced before you. Glory, honor be to you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Brethren, I want to tell you another good news. Because you are praying that prayer for yourself, you are praying that prayer for your city and village and your hamlet, because you are praying that prayer for your county, because you are praying that prayer for your borough, because you are praying that prayer for your, your province and your, and, 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 and your city and what name you may be giving your local government or your nation, because you are praying it for the old world, Brethren, you remember a lot are going on right now. The hands of God is the only hand that can pull a man out of dungeon and problems and challenges and issues of life. We are hearing a lot of news. War, rumors of war, according to Matthew chapter 24 that says it. He said there will be so much in the earth today that even the very elect will be so much afraid that they will be scared. You will not be scared because the Bible says to Zechariah, he said, fear not for the tidings and the angels of the Lord has come. Divine visitation. Brethren, we are going to link this hand of God with divine visitation in two cases now. And you are going to pray it with all your spiritual vow. You are going to pray it with all of your hormones and your blood. You are going to pray it with every spiritual energy that you have. In the power of the Holy Ghost, I see someone here that your case has been mentioned that the case is hopeless. I have a good news as the Lord is speaking in my spirit right now, that that case is being turned around in the heavenly places, that that blood is being turned around in the heavenly places, that your almost is it turned around in the heavenly places. He said you will carry a thanksgiving tree. And many that thought, oh, they are preparing for the negative. They will come to rejoice with you, to use your case to thank God and appeal to God to please answer their own case. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. A lot of people are in problem. You are going to cry to God and say, Father, the book of Romans 12, 2 says, 1 to 2, it said, be thou renew of your mindset. He said, I wish above all things I beseech you that you renew your mindset. Some people are not standing in the place of God. That is why it looks as if divine visitation is not manifesting in their destiny. That's why it looks as if, oh, what they have been praying for is not being answered. No, today they are answered in the name of Jesus. I don't know what you want to put before God right now. I want you to know the Lord is expanding your vision. The dream that you have will come accomplished in the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. You are going to ask the Lord that Lord God Almighty, let my vision be clearer. Let my dream be clearer. According to the book of Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 1 to 4. Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 1 to 4. The Bible records, he said, though Ezekiel was in a captivity, he was, in, he was captive, he was in bondage. He said, but within that bondage, he said, God showed him vision of liberation. God showed him dream of freedom. God showed him that, no, you cannot be here forever. Oh, my father, my God, you are going to pray to God and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, because the hand of God is upon me today, because the divine visitation of my life has come today, the 12th of June, 2024, the 12th day of the month, oh God, of the first half of this year. Father, my vision become clearer in the name of Jesus, in the power of the Holy Ghost. I am set free from every evil idolatry. I am set free from every foundational idolatry in the power of the Holy Ghost. I am protected in the power of the Holy Ghost. I am re refined in the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We are going to read another two Bible scriptures because of our time. And we're going to use it in the minutes that are left.
to combine them together to pray more than anything that we can do. For example, when you go to Exodus chapter 4, Exodus chapter 4, verse 1 to 6, Exodus chapter 4, verse 1 to 6, the Lord God spoke to Moses when they first talked. The Lord God asked, he said, Moses, what is that in your hand? Moses said to him, he said, it is a rod. And God spoke and he asked to come. And you know, I've taught us on this meeting. In this meeting, I've explained to us, anytime you are reading the scripture, and the scripture is telling about what God says, and the scripture is telling about what Jesus says, I said, take it very serious. Look for God to ask by the Holy Spirit and say, God, interpret this thing to me and let me have an understanding deeper than the literary surface of this scripture that I'm reading. And God will do one thing. God will reveal it to you. And I pray today is the mystery behind the revelation of the secret of God. As he revealed it to you today, God Almighty will be glorified by the hand. Brethren, you are going to look at your hand. There are lines in your hand. You are going to command because the Lord is asking. He said, Moses, what is that in your hand? Brethren, you know what I want you to do prophetically when I was preparing? The Lord said to me, lift that hand unto God. Lift that hand unto God. Take this song and say, I put my hands in your hands, O oh Lord. I put my hands in your hands, O oh Lord. I put my hands in your hands, mighty God. I will not fail, for Jesus never failed. I put my hands in your hands, O oh God. I put my hands in your hands, O oh Lord. I will not fail, for Jesus never fail. You know what you are saying? You are saying, O oh Lord, God that can pull a man out of a problem and a mud. A man that, a God that can pull one out of reproach. You heard what we read there in the book of Luke chapter 1, where Elizabeth was visited. And he said, today I have seen the hands of God and the mighty visitation of the Lord. He has pulled me out of reproach that men will reproach me. Now, when God put his hand upon your hand, many of us, we don't know where to lay our hands upon. Many pray a prayer of ordinary tongue from their mouth. They say, oh, I lay my hands on things. And those hands are filthy. They are filthy hands. That's why they tell you, be careful who lay hands upon your head. But today, brethren, your hand is being lifted above your head unto God that can take one and draw him out of the dungeon. Once he lays his hands upon your hand, which I see now as happened, lay those hands upon your head and call your name and say, I for Lord Shaw Edwin Adebayo and your Lord Opa. Today, Lord, your hands has been laid upon my hand. I lay this hand upon my head. Everything from the throne of the crown of my head to the bottom of my feet to my foundational founding, Lord, to my genealogy. Father, Lord, let everything begin to work because you have laid your hand upon my hand that I laid upon my head. My head is the head of yours. My head is the head where my senses spiritual rest. My head is the head where my leg will take me to. My head is the head of my vision and dream. My head is the head where nothing must touch. Father, as you have laid your hand upon my hand, I, your son, for Lord, shall lay it upon my head this 12th day, O God. Daddy, Lord, I receive your divine acceleration. I receive your divine healing. I receive your divine power. Glory, honor be to your holy name. In Jesus' most glorious name, we are prayed. Amen. For our time, that is one. When the hand of God combined with a man's hand in a divine visitation, that was what happened in Exodus 4. God visited Moses. God spoke to Moses like he's speaking to you now through the power of the Trinity. And he's saying, what is that in your hand? You have demonstrated it. The two are combined. They have accomplished what it has to be accomplished in heaven. 
I can feel someone feeling a sensation of that hand you have laid upon your head. Congratulations, because God has visited you. Can we see how the hand of God in a divine visitation can take a man out in this, our next series of prayer as we are rounding up? When you go to the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 3, Act of Apostles, chapter 3, verse 1 to 8, Acts of Apostles, chapter 3, brethren, we have just a few more minutes. That few more minutes, we are going to use it so good, so well, that the glory of God, like never before, is going to speak in the power of the Holy Ghost. Like never before, you cannot escape this miracle tonight, brothers and sisters. To miracle tonight of that prophetic thing you have done with the hand of God and divine visitation, none of you, no matter what, you cannot escape it. Except again, you go and backslide. Except again, you go to your vomit. If you have not given your life, this is the time you give your life even before I make this utter call. Because when the hand of God will divide the situation and combine, man can never remain the same again. Even enemy will come to applaud your God and turn to your God. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Look at what happened. Act of Apostles chapter 3, Act 3, 1 to 8. I will just read two verses to you. Two verses, you can read the rest. Let's look at verse 7 and 8. Verse 7 and 8. It was a story of a man called the lame man at the beautiful gate. The Bible says this man has suffered a lot for 40 years. We don't know maybe it was 40 years old. We don't know how it was because I know there was another story in the book of John chapter 9 where the man was blind from the mother's womb out. But we don't know of this man. We only say he was a lame man. He sit at the beautiful gate. They mentioned the year. But divine visitation came. Divine visitation combined with the glory hand of God. He lifted this man. And that is what is happening to you and I today. And everyone that are listening. Look at verse 7 of Act of Apostles chapter 3, what it says. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bone received strength. And he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising the Lord. What is that one saying? This Peter and John said to the lame man, he said, silver of gold I have none, but what I have I give ye thee this day, that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise and walk. The faith of that man could not carry him. Sometimes a lot of us have struggled, we have tried our best, but our faith cannot carry us. But today, the Peter and John, what did they do? They held him by the right hand and lift him up. You know what that is saying? God is now beginning to honor your faith, to join his glory with your hand. And now, you know what is that saying? He's divinely visited you to take you out of every foundation you have been buried. Every situation you thought is not possible. You know what that means? You are going to accelerate. You are going to run. You are going to fly. You are going to praise God. You are going to evangelize God. You are going to cry without scripture. You are going to cry without scripture. You know, I told you to raise your hand. I want you to raise the hand again. And say, oh, Lord of hosts, every area of mud, every area I have been buried, every area where my destiny has been buried, now I raise my hand prophetic unto you. Lord, as John, Peter and John drew the lame man from the beautiful gate, Lord God, that gate is called beautiful. Draw me out now. Draw me out now. Every inherited foundation that are wrong, every inherited problem that I do not know about through my father and my mother and my genealogy, Lord God Almighty, pull me out now. My foundation now receives strength. My ball receives strength to go evangelizing for you. Your glory come in me in visitation. That 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 you have done tonight, it will remain so glorious that the whole world will hear about it and you will not cause me to turn back again. So shall it be with thanksgiving. In Jesus' 
glorious and perfect name we are praying. Brethren, if you are not giving your life to Jesus, you just raise the hand for nothing. If the name of Jesus has not come into you and sink into you, what are we talking about? Brethren, it's a time I ask you, please, if you have not given your life to Jesus, you have not been mentioned that Jesus has come truly permanently in your life. Please raise those hands up for the third time and say, Jesus, I surrender all. Please come into my life. Please, Lord, I've raised my hand to you twice. This is my third time in surrendering as the one to come to you totally to save me from every dungeon. Father, don't let me go back to my vomit. Don't let me mention against me, oh Lord, that I know you, I do not know you again. Father, save me. Those category of people, I want to join my faith with the faith of every spiritual general and spirit and in truth to pray for you as you give your life to Jesus now. And as soon as we finish this prayer, you are going to thank God and you are going to look for a believing church and you go. And you are going to study those Bible passages again and use it to pray because now you have become a new creature. All things as then passed away. Now they have become new. Have you not seen it according to the word of Isaiah for the tree that God has made a way in your wilderness? He has bring forth a fountain to suit you, to relieve you. He has bring forth that thing of freedom to begin to help you in the wilderness of the fountains of water. So shall it be. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you as I raise my hand prophetically in the third time to ask that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come into our life. Come into the life of these new people you have drawn by yourself. Come into their life to show them that you are God of all glory. Come into their life that this birthday today, 12th of June, that is so remarkable in the heart house of the Lord, that in the sixth month, oh God, of this 2024, when you are drawing to come back, Father, save them to the uttermost end. Save me to the uttermost end. Save everyone to the uttermost end. None of us will go back again. When you delay your coming, Lord, we will see you in glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for doing this. Glory, honor, be to your own name. Before we meet again, Lord, before this weekend, let there be bountiful testimony that no man, no Lord God, can bury. Glory, honor, be to your own name. Because you have used me to do this, oh God, I pray I will not be a castaway. My wife and children will never, ever be a castaway. So you be all glory with thanksgiving in Jesus glorious and perfect name we are praying amen and amen and amen praise the lord the hand of god in divinity and purpose of the session rest upon you till eternity in jesus name amen shalom god bless you thank you and god bless the man of god that is hosting in jesus name shalom god bless you god bless you uh, sir uh and uh, thanks for joining us once again um i want to i wherever you are i want you to uh just let's quickly pray because your prayer is so so important uh at this time uh let's just quickly pray for the man of god that the Lord uh, has used tonight. So if you are there, I want you to just um, begin to pray uh, for Pastor Edwin, that as the Lord has used him tonight to, uh, to bless you, to refresh your spirit, that the Lord Almighty will... Um, will re uh, replenish him in hundred folds that the lord almighty will touch every areas of his life spiritually physically his business his family that they will begin to work stronger and stronger and stronger and no evil no man on earth will have the capacity to comprehend it that the glory of the lord will shine upon him and his family in the name of jesus and so heavenly father we pray for your son that you have used tonight that we pray oh lord that you will <clears throat> you will increase him in wisdom and understanding you will increase him in understanding and in uh, spiritually physically you will increase him in every sphere of life you will increase him 
will commit the ministry that you have you have put in his hands oh lord we pray lord that they will increase in numbers in the name of jesus spiritually they will increase in the name of jesus there shall be miracle in that ministry there shall be miracle oh lord father lord by the power by your power by your right hand oh lord you will descend your divine power that will bring forth greater testimonies in the name of jesus and so shall he be we commit his family into your care oh lord we pray, O oh Lord, that you will bless them. You will be with them. There shall be turn around of with open heavens in the name of Jesus. The mighty and greater things that you have done in the past, so you will do in their lives today in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, family. God bless you. Shalom. Joining us and. Uh, I pray, I know that you have been blessed. As many of you that are online, that are on, this, on any of those platform, I believe you have been blessed bountifully. And I know that the Lord is still saying something. If you, peradventure, you are doubting and saying, oh, it's the month of June. If, I mean, uh, the month, the year is going to an end. <laughs> Gradually, you're in June and you are doubting. I, I want to admonish you tonight. You heard what the man of God says? that the right hand of god is power say so you should place your hands on your head and all those prayers shall manifest in your life believe and trust the lord only if you believe only if you believe because god is still saying something you will begin to receive that testimony in the name of jesus when things are quiet it doesn't mean that the lord is quiet the lord is working something out for you and in due season you will share your testimony in the name of Jesus. Beloved, our God is good. I have no reason to doubt God, and I have no reason to say, oh God, even when things are rough, it doesn't matter. God is still God. You cannot change his position because God is still God. So in every situation, give thanks to God and await your testimony, and it shall be well with you. Um, every Wednesday, we meet on this platform um from seven to eight if you're in the united states from two to three and if you're in africa we are still on the same time uh so well, apart from east africa that is about maybe one hour ahead of us um somewhere like kenya and all that so please stay tuned on this platform and as you do so the lord almighty will bless you our um scr concert is coming up uh, we've rebranded it, and you're going to see the flyer coming up uh, in a different style. And, and I hope you will still stay tuned. Uh, you can register on Eventbrite. As soon as you see the flyer, you will see the link. You will see the scan code. Just scan and register yourself. It's free. Now, I mean, we are not taking a dime because the gospel of God is free. Freely, he has given unto us, and freely, we will give. I mean, expect the who and who in gospel um um ministration uh, please expect that you will receive extraordinarily this year it's going to be amazing trust me and uh please stay tuned and as you do so the lord will bless you shall we share the grace and fellowship may the grace of our lord, our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely the Lord's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Surely the Lord's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you, everyone, on every platform. I won't mention names on Facebook, on Instagram. God bless you all. And God bless you, man of God, for joining us. And uh, it shall be well with us all. Bye.